European and American companies play on the majority of consumers' lack of information. In Europe or the United States, menus include bottles of water. Not here. Only fizzy drinks or juices. I trust it. It is less oily. The managers are aware that their customers are lacking correct information, but aren't authorized to say anything. In France and Europe, this fairy tale is less of a success. Safety campaigns against junk food have been shown for 15 years. The middle class is suffering from an obesity epidemic. Are the products sold in India the same as over here? To find out, we compared them. We chose McDonald's and KFC. At McDonald's, a McChicken in India contains two and a half times more sugar than the French sandwich. The fillet of fish contains twice as much saturated fat. Same goes for the McNuggets. As for the Indian fries, they are off the chart nearly six times more saturated fat. The results are no better at KFC. The hot wings have three times as much fat. In France, such levels would be unthinkable because of nutritional commitments made by these multinationals. TV adverts offer more and more ultra-low cost offers with one promise. You take the freshest, highest quality ingredients, mix them with 100% real chicken. What you get is just good food. This former chef prefers to stay anonymous. This also I made. Hi, can we get one garlic bread? He wants to show us products that illustrate the deceptive marketing of the brand. Put butter in it. Oil. Oh. It's not the real mozzarella. And inside it's supposed to be cheesy. This is like a cream emulsified mayo, like this. Now it gives you an effect of a, of a real cheese. But this is basically like a sauce. So it's definitely no dairy. Why don't they use a real butter? Oh, it's expensive. After six months of working for the company, the chef decided to resign, sickened. Domino's doesn't provide any nutritional information. It's legal in India, but would be illegal in France. We had these products analyzed in a laboratory, starting with a pizza filled with fake cheese. 52 grams of fat, the equivalent of five soup spoons of oil, and effectively not a single gram of cheese. As for the 30 cents garlic bread, it contains 11.6% saturated fats, a nutritional nightmare. We approached Domino's, McDonald's, KFC, but to no avail. None of them responded to our interview requests. So we went to an event that was open to the press, the General Assembly of the Association of Indian Restaurants, Director General of Domino's Pizza in India. I'm out here. I don't want interview. Sorry. Why is Domino's? No, I have no answer. I'm you know, not... Does it mean that Domino's doesn't care about nutrition? Who's... Can you just leave this place? I am a journalist. I ask questions. We never receive a response, despite trying multiple times. Only the American headquarters sent us an email, redirecting us to the Indian branch. <laughs> 